What we'd like to demonstrate is the convenience of obtaining a sample um, to monitor microbial corrosion using uh, genetic techniques. Um, first, a vial of preservative is uh, labeled with the uh, sample information and the date. And then we're going to um, collect biofilm from a, a corrosion uh, a coupon. So the, the technician is going to be careful not to touch the uh, region of the coupon that will be sampled. And then a sterile cotton swab is used to obtain the biofilm sample that has uh, microorganisms and corrosion products. So the cotton bit on the end of the wooden stick is about one centimeter long and an area of the coupon that's one centimeter squared is the area to be collected. So that dry coupon is uh, rolled and she uses all the surface of it to scrape an area about one centimeter squared. Then that recovered material is transferred into the preservative. <clears throat> so agitation to try to get the material off, but also now the wet uh, swab is uh, applied again to the coupon to obtain even more material from the very same area. And when she feels she's uh, completely recovered everything that was on the coupon, she is going to break off the tip into the vial there in such a way that um, the swab is on a piece short enough to allow closure of the vial. And we're done. And you can see that if a coupon pulling crew were to try to sample like this, it's very simple, doesn't take uh, much time, doesn't take um, too many materials. So it's pretty fast, pretty convenient. The vial can be sent right now for analysis in the lab, or it can be uh, held uh, at room temperature, but better to be refrigerated for days or weeks before it's sent to the lab for analysis. So it, there are m multiple advantages to use uh, genetic tests versus growth tests, and many industries like the food and cosmetic industries and medicine have gone to using genetic qPCR tests instead of microbial growth tests because they are convenient and they're more accurate. It, it quantifies what's really there and not all microorganisms are going to grow in liquid media. And the results are pretty fast, hours versus weeks, and it's cost effective. Um, for corrosion monitoring using genetic techniques, the results you'd get would be total bacteria, the sulfate reducing population, the number of nitrate reducers, and methanogens. All of those organisms are uh, relevant to microbial corrosion, and it's uh, convenient, accurate, fast, and cheap to get the data using qPCR.